Hello YouTube, what we have here is an unboxing of the HLRC's new Zeus F22 Mini um, <coughs> flight controller and they also have the large one as well too. Of course, as you can see here on the packaging, you ha it supports 3 to 6S um, battery packs. So what's been shipped have been two configurations. So shipping, this is how I got it out in the box for the review model. So you can send your stuff over for review and I'll be happy to do a review for you. So this is an unboxing because I'm currently at work, so I don't have a quad to drop this quadcopter or multi-rotor to drop this in. However, I'll do the installation. So this actually comes in two two portions that I did not actually do this before. Should have done this, done this in advance of the video so that it doesn't look so clumsy on camera. So what's been shipped is the 20 by 20 millimeter version and the full 30 millimeter version variant of that particular model module um, <clears throat> and also to GPS so GPS you can solder on to both of these units but primarily to be better for the LED board the LED board is actually made for, for this unit so you'd integrate these two together so let's do go on with the unboxing so let's start first of all with the smaller of the two units show you what you get in the box what I've uh, packaging so I've unpackaged these because it says it uses sticky material so all I've done is pulled this packaging here because it was a bit sticky and I didn't want to embarrass myself on trying to open it on camera so out of the packaging, what you get, see if I can get the camera in focus, I'm using my phone to do this. It's typical HLR stick, um, see stickers. Stickers are always great. They look really good in my opinion. You can stick them on anything you like. So you get instruction manual, which instruction manual will be very, very useful when it comes to wiring this up. So you have cute little um, harness nice silicone wire that's the wire that i like using you have these rubber grommets to shield against um absorb some of that vibration so you don't have to do too much in terms of filtering this one uses a micro usb port as shown here and there aren't you do have some um, if you have additional components you can um, do the necessary soldering. However, you have these headers available, which makes the nice clean plug and play process. So let's talk about some of the solder pads that are available for this particular purpose. So the instruction manuals that you get will come in English and will also come, oh, sorry, it's embarrassing. I was looking at the non-English side. So this is the non-English side the English side is is here so this actually illustrates the specifications that this unit has that you see unit comes with so eight megabytes for black box which is um, pretty good and useful it shows you what the UARTs are used for in this case since you can you'd be doing needing to do things like soldering your receiver this is how that's actually going to be be done you would not be you would not necessarily need to use sorry so for these options that are available you would not necessarily have to you would definitely be using one um, one of these not using all of these at once I'm looking trying to look through my camera screen while recording it's a bit challenging here so you'd, you'd pick your receiver of choice do the necessary soldering and in this case you would be able to attach um, solder your LED lights accordingly on this particular pad this would be the UART 4 in this case and if you have GPS you'd solder that accordingly so you'd be able to identify that let's say let me just re re reorient this the right side around so you have an idea how you'd then be soldering your GPS 
pads accordingly. So let's talk about talking about GPS. We're going to switch over to the GPS module. So let me put this away and put this back in the packaging so I don't mix up all of the components and create a mess here on YouTube, which would not be which would not be cool. I'll be doing an installation video of these components in just a moment. HLRC had actually sent out an, an addendum um, of the correct soldering um, orientation for the wiring. So this is not a pluggable. Right, so the headers on this. So, so for all these packages here, you get HLRC stickers, which I find pretty cute. Um, like this is how the wiring for the for the plugs would be would go. You can see the similarity here. Oops, sorry. All right, so you plug on this side like so, and in the necessary soldering, you'd actually then neatly do onto your flight controller. I'm going to demonstrate that in another video. So pack this away, stuff that in the, in the packaging. I'm actually so excited to go home and solder this up. As I said before, I'm currently at work, so I'm not able to demonstrate this right now. All right, so the LED board. Before we get to the LED board, yeah. Let me open this packaging here. Take out the components so you can see what's what. So here, I've not actually gone through this before yet. So here you actually get four LEDs. You can have it in a master slave um, configuration. So, or you can opt to, you can opt to do the soldering, um, solder straight onto the pads. The pads here are nice and evenly spaced out. So we get this focused, focus, focus, focus. Yeah. Right. So evenly spaced out soldering will definitely not be an issue for even for noobs um newbies like myself you could almost solder this blindfolded so you can either choose to do this in a master slave setup in which you just daisy chain them or you can connect them to the flight controller which i will demonstrate shortly with the 30 by 30 millimeter flight controller or for those of you who want to be technical it would be 30.5 by 30.5 that's again if you want to be technical let's put these components back in the packaging so that I can find them all later today when I choose to solder them up all right so this is the big boy a real big one again more HELRC stickers you can put use for anywhere and again you may notice the hardware now is a whole lot more so so gummies again no no this time around you have adapters you have harnesses for everything and again it's that nice silicone wire which is easy to um to take heat if anything this is the dji connector so you have a dji air unit you can plug it in without any fear of no need to do any additional wiring so this is the big boy itself with all of the headers in question. Now I had mentioned before DJI's addendum here and how you'd plug this LED port. So again, you have it in instruction in two languages. You have English. I mean, this is not English. This is not English side. Flip it, out, flip it around. That's the English side here. Which so which is great. So the black box has moved from eight mega um, eight megabytes to sixteen in this particular configuration, and here you can see um, HLRC had actually gone through the process of doing the addendum for this, where they had sent an email. Let me see if I can move the camera up. I should have posted this in a screenshot, but because I did not plan this clearly before yeah clearly it didn't wasn't prepared so if you can read on screen this is what they actually have said 
so this is the update of course for those of you who probably will be getting the newer models they would have made the necessary corrections by then so you don't have to worry literally worry about any of this just depending if you have um, one or two cameras but what's important is that these set of instructions you're going to get yeah these set of instructions you're going to definitely get in your packaging so you don't have to worry about knowing all of this i see where somebody has handwritten these um updates here this isn't my handwriting but looks like looks like it could have been my handwriting but no it's not my handwriting this is how i got it um out of the exposed packaging Mike. yeah out of the ex um out of not exposed but the open packaging sorry it's got distracted a while there so as you can see it is sh shown where you can actually plug in the dji air unit which i plan to get one in a very near future yes yeah, so i am selling out and moving from analog to digital this here you have usb type c as the proper as a connector where the small one had the mini usb so let me open this so you can see what's what's what throw this out don't need that anymore so this is usb type c as you can i guess already see let's plug in a led one of these led units so you can have an idea what's what and what i'm have an idea what i'm talking about and of course you can set your led colors in beta flight accordingly uh, i want to hook it up to the beta flight and do a cli dump on both of these particular units and i'll make the cli dump available in the re um, in the com in the description section oops sorry put this off camera for a moment come on plug you in I'm doing this so clumsy. Rotate. Right. So, let's plug into one of these particular units. Let me plug another one in just to show you what's, what's what. So this is the LED. So you'd plug in four, you'd plug in, so one goes, so one goes here, another goes there, here where my finger is pointing, another one here, and another one here. And of course, this then mounts onto your arm of your quadcopter, plugging this in for the very first time. Never actually configured an LED on any of my quads before. So this is actually pretty cool. This process, I've, I actually have to familiarize myself with it so I don't embarrass myself on, on camera. Sorry, somebody's calling me. So switching over to Betaflight Configurator. So you can see here, oh, sorry, you can't see what's happening on Betaflight Configurator here, but I have the unit actually cut connected let's take a look at the ports tab so the ports tab you have nothing oh so for you they've already clearly turned on turn switch this on in okay it looks like they've already made these changes configuration settings here for you on this particular board as you can see this custom target is a HDLRC um, official product and oh nice it actually came with 4.2 out of the box so i really wouldn't need to do any form of updates all right so let's enable let's enable expert mode and live on the dangerous side of things i say dangerous because it just sounds more epic that way uh, let's see let's see let's see All right, so let's do a CLI dump. I'm gonna make this all available to you. Oops. Dump. All 
right so i'm going to make this stock um this complete the stock dump available for all of you so that you can use out of the box let's save this to save the file do the save the file option let's just shoot save this onto my desktop that is the big one save so I'm going to make this available to you. I think what's going to happen to make these LEDs probably light up, I'm going to have to hook up a power source and do some configuration. Oops, connect to you. I'm going to have to figure out. I've never actually set up LED before on any of my particular quads. So I'm going to, I'm going to do a video um sorry that's gonna so this that step is gonna be included in the installation video which is gonna um follow very very soon for me because maximum cell voltage 4.35 is gonna be in that for my case and 4.3.4 I live on the wild side my battery capacity is gonna be a 1300 milliamp hour battery this is my personal thing which i already made a cli dump so you're not going to get this save all right so i already made it made a dump and saved this the stock one so you're going to get the stock you're not going to get these settings which i just changed here um in your configuration let's go to led 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 how do i do this led strip so I'm going to pause the video here, uh, like and subscribe, and then I'm going to continue with the actual installation into an actual quad when I get home. So it's going to be a full wiring, um, wire up, solder. Of. So, and of course using GPS. So GPS has to be soldered onto a pad directly onto one of them, to the appropriate pad due to the fact that the GPS doesn't have an actual header. But I'm actually excited to see this thing um, when it's done because it's actually going to be so cool. So like and subscribe.